All right, everyone, welcome back to the story of Hellrendir and the Lord of the Rings Online, and we are just going to continue on. I'm Private Chunky One, and enjoy your stay. Here we go. God, there's so many updates since I last played. The amount of updates is insane. Ashes of Osculiath. All right. Oh, my login reward. Where do I get that? It's like... Shit, here it is. Yay, plus 10% run speed boost for 90 minutes. Using one of those right now. And I got new mail. Got Lotro points, cool. Uh, such a pain in the dick. I really want to resubscribe to this shit. I really do. Oh yeah, I already know I got that. But I have to go check that at the mailbox. Okay. May Gavanin, might you spare a moment of your time? As I said, I am sorry to intrude upon your reflection, but perhaps you can speak with Cardivor and Celadim proper. He seems quite worried about something, and from what I know of the tales of your bravery, you may be able to help him. You may find him by the piers not far from here. Sure. Why not? Ah, he's right here. There he is. Oh no, this is the cool. This is Lane and the Glade Watcher. Uh, Megavon and I will engage in trade if that is what you wish, but I will not accept coin. Such things are not the way of the Elven folk, and I will hold to our traditions. You may be of service to me. Our time is closing in this land. Soon we will be but legend and memory to the mortals who will remain upon these shores. While we are still here, however, we must do what we can to ensure that these lands remain safe and beautiful. The preservation of the land is why I have come to the port of Kellendim. My brethren and I have been looking into recent events into in a glade to the north. I am here to enlist any willing to go there and assist us in discovering the source of an infestation of sickle flies among the trees to the west and southwest of the port. If you are willing, remove the thread of the sickle flies from the trees and report to uh, Overless, Ovorlas, at... Nenhilith to the southwest. I sure. Okay, and you the other dude I gotta go talk to. Cardivore. A shadow is on my spirit. Oh, hello there. We have not had time to get acquainted. My name is Cardivore, and you are? Will you hear my sorrows? I have heard that you are well-traveled. Perhaps you have seen my son Ab Aberthal on your journeys. I received a message from him saying that he was coming from Duolon to visit, but he has not yet arrived. That is most unlike him. In his journeys here, he oft speaks with the travelers along the road and visits the Vale of Nenhilith with a friend of his, a dwarf named Athal. Athal watches the road and helps the few dwarf, dwarf travelers who come to Kelindim. Perhaps Averthal is speaking to him now and has simply forgotten the time. Would you seek him? Sure, I'll find your son. Why not? Hunter trainer. Greetings to you. Ah. Do 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 do. Horsey. Let's go up here and grab this mission. Thing layer. May Govanan, might you spare a moment of your time? This is a beautiful land, is it not? I wandered it often in my youth, but places that were once fair have long since fallen into decay. Some of the older runes have even become habitations for foul creatures that gnaw at the edges of our land. My brother and I have set to ourselves the task of cleansing a few of these places before we leave. To this end, I have in my possession a token given to me by Elrond Half-Elven long ago. It is imbued with a light that creatures of evil find painful to bear. Oh, there was more to that. I just didn't see May it. Kovanen. I must purge the fell beasts, apparently. Anyone up here that's worth talking to? I'm good, dog. I don't want none of that. 
I'm still remembering how to do everything because it's been so long since I've played this game. Oh, that's right. I shouldn't be using the mouse. I gotta get used to straight keyboard again. Okay. There's a mission this way. Oh, it's over there. Don't jump down. Bad idea, Dex. Wait. No, I need to jump down. Shit. <sighs> okay, don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Oh, good. Ooh, I really thought I was going to die there. I was about to be fucking pissed. Sleeping sailor. Oh, oh, it was at the bottom of the stairs. Ah. Stay a moment. Welcome to Falathorn. Falathorn. Heldron, dear. You can see the harbor city of Kel uh, Kelendim up the hill to the northeast and the refuge of Duolan is farther to the north. But I can see that you have a desire to fashion goods, to practice your ability to create things of substance and use. It is my recommendation that you visit my friend Gwalath at the terrace overlooking Kelendim, where many useful and co co comely goods are fashioned. Go up the hill to the northeast and in into the city and follow the path to the left as it winds up the hillside atop the stairs. Atop the stairs, follow the path southward to the terrace. Gwalath will be pleased to help you learn how to begin your journey as a craftsman. That's the mission that I was looking for up here, because I remembered that it was up here, and I couldn't, for the life of me, remember, um, uh, Lula. I couldn't for the life of me remember who gave you the mission, but it was that guy, because this is the guy who I thought gave it to you, or girl, whatever. Hail, friend, and well met. Mibraleth sent you to me? You must be interested in learning a crafting trade then. Wonderful. Arid Lewin will be better for your efforts, my friend. Speak with the Master of Apprentices on this terrace, for he can help you choose a vocation in which to specialize. A vocation is a bundle of three crafting professions with overlapping skills. Choose your vocation with care because you will expend a great time, deal of time and energy improving your skill with the pr pr professions under its purview. Once the Master of Apprentices has welcomed you to your chosen vocation, be sure to speak with a supplier. She can sell you the tools of your trade. Every profession has its own tools. So be not over shy with your coin purse. The novices will be happy to sell you any recipes you might wish to have, though I can tell you now that you will already know how to make a thing or two. Equip the crafting tools you plan on using and find it Find an appropriate facility. Kellendom has a forge, workbench, and oven available for your use, and begin pra practicing your skills. You will advance in your chosen professions as you seek practice and seek out the teachings of others in the field. I hope you will become a skilled craft craftsman, Helrendir, and that it will bring joy to you and profit to Arid Lewin. Cool. I cannot, for the life of me, remember which crafting I took with my and when I was doing this before um, okay there's cook man I can't remember what I did okay let me talk to the master of princesses okay armor is metalsmith prospector and tailor tail uh, explorer is tailor forester and prospector Armsman is weaponsmith, prospector, and woodworker. Tinker is jeweler, prospector, and cook. Ye Yeoman is cook, farmer, and tailor. Woodsman is woodsman, forester, and farmer. Historian is scholar, weaponsmith, and farmer. If I remember correctly, I did woodsman because I wanted to be able to make my own bows. 
but I changed it to historian later on because there's something about scholar. I am going to look this up. Lotro craft crafting guide. Here we go. Um, that's not what I wanted to know. Crafts. Professions. Ah, uh, yep, that's what it is. The class-specific items for a hunter is from Scholar. So I can, that's, that, that's what it is. So I can either do... Woodsman and get Woodworker for bows. I can do Historian and get Scholar and Weaponsmith, which are the other two that are important for him. I'm going to take Sweet Historian. Historians are unique in that they have access to the scholarly arts, allowing them to research ancient lore and use their discoveries to the advantage of their fellows. In addition, a historian has the more practical talents of cultivating land and forgiving the blades that are so often spoke of in the histories they study. Do you wish to learn this trade? Yes. You have a trained a craft vocation, which will allow you to perform three different craft professions. Okay, that's fine. Okay, introduction to farming. You may be of service to me. I've always marveled at the ability of the other races to prize food in the manner that they do. I have asked one of our promising novices to watch over and guide any new farmers toward learning the very basics of the profession. His name is... Excuse me. His name is e Yaladir. 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 Yeah. Yaladir. And he ha he is near the farmland here at the terrace. Speak with him and he will teach you the very basics as he progresses in his own studies. Except. And let's get introduced to scholarship. Sweet lad Malone. The study of the past. Moments. The study of the past is a pursuit that provides us with insight into our elders and the ways they ch that they choose. I have asked one of our promising novices to watch over and guide any new scholars toward learning the very basics of the profession. Her name is Favreniel. Favreniel. That's an awesome name. And she stands near the workbench here at the terrace. Speak with her and she will teach you the very basics as she progresses in her own studies. Except. And Weaponsmith. Greetings, friend. Will you lend me your ear? It is without question that the elves have crafted the most elegant and noteworthy we weapons throughout the ages of Middle Earth, and I am pleased to see that though we will soon leave this place, we will continue to focus on the arts which we have perfected in our time here. I have asked one of our promising novices to watch over and guide any new weaponsmiths towards learning the very basics of the profession. Her name is Dauntlasil. 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 Not Lassel, I guess. And she stands near the forge here at the terrace. Speak with her and she will teach you the very basics as she progresses in her own studies. Okay. So. I guess. I'll just walk over here and talk to this person first. Novice scholar. Sweet lied Malon. If you are looking for guidance and scholarship, then I am prepared to offer you direction. If my methods are too fast, feel free to speak to me again, and I will answer any questions that you may have. I will do my best to provide you with clear direction. The first and most important step is having the proper ingredients. I have kept some of these ingredients aside for purposes, for purpose of providing to new scholars. Take this crate and let us begin. Okay, I must open the crate. I am opening the crate. What did I get? Uh, historian's Guide. The world of Middle Earth is ancient and varied, and we, and for, and for we historians, our goal is to understand it from the mythical to the mundane. A historian has three main areas of study. First and foremost, we are students of the scholarly arts focused on collecting relics of earlier ages and putting this knowledge to practical use. In addition, our studies of historical weapons have led us to learn their craft, and our near universal appreciation for pipe weed has led us to learn the secret of its cultivation. Huh, excuse me, Jesus. 
Scholars can produce a wide variety of scrolls, potions, dyes, and other useful items. All materials that a scholar uses tend to show up as treasure from humanoid foes. Materials can also be obtained from relics, typically found near ancient runes using your track artifact skill. To create a battle lore scroll, equip the scroller's glass. Scholars. The scholars. The scholar's glass. Collect one early third age relic and one age scrap of text. Execute the minor battle lore recipe. And you now produce you have now produced a scroll that can be used to provide guidance to your fellowship. While basic scholar recipes do not require a facility, your most difficult work will require access to a great library. Weaponsmithing. Weaponsmithing uh, recipes require a great deal of metal. The only metal you will find for sale at vendors are tin ingots, so you'll need to mine your own copper or head to the auction hall. To craft a bronze sword, you must do the following. Equip your smithing hammer, obtain two bronze ingots, find a forge, execute the bronze sword recipe, your work completed. You now possess a stout and capable weapon. Farmer, you can also farm to produce pipe weed and vegetables that can be used by cooks to produce tasty food. <sighs> Yummy. Um, you can farm at special farming fields found throughout Middle Earth. Novice farm hands can be found near farm fields in uh, Michael Delving. I always want to say that wrong because it's spelled so weird. It looks like it says Michel Delving, but it's Michael. It's pronounced Michael. Uh, Staddle, uh, Thorns Hall, and Kellendim. Um, Staddle's is northwest of Bree, northeast of Bree. And Thorin's Halls is the north side of Eridluin, and Kellendim is where I am at in the south side of Kel of Kellen or of Eridluin. Eridluin, damn. To farm some Southling pipe weed, you must do the following: equip your farming tools, buy one apprentice pipe weed seed, one bucket of water, and one handful of fertilizer from a novice farmer. Find some farmland and execute the farming recipe. Harvest your crops and reap the rewards. As you execute recipes, you will gain experience in your craft. When you are ready to progress to more difficult work, you can seek out further training and quests from craftsmen of note. That was a lot of reading. Shit. Okay, I got inferior scholar's glass, inferior farming tools, and inferior smithing hammer, early third age relic, and an aged scrap of text. So what do I actually click on to do this recipe? Okay, let's go back here. Scholar, got him. Execute the minor battle lore. Is it, let me guess. C. No, that's character. Hobby, house, skills, biography. No. Where is my crafting? Is this it? Crafting panel. There we go. Battle lore. Crafting lore. Research. Oh. Okay. So what does she want me to do? Well, actually, I could just look over here. Um, craft a, a scroll of minor scholar lore. There we go. Make all. Yeah, yeah. Bring it to the novice scholar. Greetings to you. May I see the scroll you penned? She takes a moment to admire your handiwork. Your script is elegant, and there is nothing wrong with this scroll. You are well on your way towards becoming a scholar. Well done, Hellrun, dear. Why, thank you. I tried my best. What did I get? Scroll of minor scholar lore. Plus one scholar critical chance. Oh, well. That is irrelevant at the moment because I would have to go buy a metric ass load. Actually, let me go talk to the provisioner right quick. What can I do for you? Dry rations, hard rations, rich rations. No, that's not what I meant. Oh, that's the scholar's guilds. Okay, wait, wait. No, no, no. Here we go. Buy, prepare, prepare all. No, that's not what I meant. No, somebody sells novice tailor, novice jeweler, novice woodworker. Oh, I bet you it's her. I just have to select the purchase option. Yeah, hey, browse the shop. Me. Yeah. Yeah, never mind. She doesn't sell like. Okay. All right. So let's go to the next one. You're over here at the forge. 
Introduction to Weaponsmithing. What can I do for you? If you are looking for guidance in weaponsmithy, then I am prepared to offer you direction. If you, if my methods are too fast, feel free to speak to me again, and I will answer any questions that you may have. I will do my best to provide you with clear direction. The first and most important step is having the proper ingredients. So apparently the first part is exactly the same across all of them. Okay, what did I get from this chick? Two bronze ingots. I'm going to have to equip the smithing hammer to do whatever she needs me to do. Um, use the ingredients you have to forge a bronze sword... Dagger, axe, great sword, or throwing axe. Well, obviously, I'm going to forge something that I can actually use. Um, we're going to do a bronze sword. Because I don't think... Yeah, I can't use a... There we go. Beautiful. How can I be of service? I see the blade there on your person. May I see it? She takes a moment to admire your handiwork. This appears to be a well-crafted weapon. You are well on your way towards becoming a weaponsmith. Well done, Hellrendir. Yay! Okay, is this better than what I have equipped? M much better than the tarnished blade. Yeah, I forgot about that. Crafted weapons are... Uh, binded upon equipping should probably sell a bunch of this shit that I picked up. Okay. Novice Farmer is up this way, apparently. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, don't do it. Don't do it. Okay, cool. What are you? Oh, you're the bank. I don't need to talk to you for quite a while. can't wait to hit level 40 so I can start hitting the... Oh, and there's a copper deposit, which I think... Can I get that? No, I need Prospector to get that. Now entering Falothlorn. Hello. Megovanen. If you're looking for guidance and in... Yeah, we already read this twice now. So he says the exact same shit except for farming. Okay. Use the ingredients you received. Plant a yellow onion field. Now, I know I have to come over here and to here. Okay, what is the button to open the crafting menu? I swear I thought it was... Oh, it's T. Yep. See, muscle memory, dude. All you got to do is muscle memory it. It's been three years since I last played. Yellow onion field. Requires farming tools. I forgot to equip those make them all. Loot all. Activate the track crop skill. Oh, track artifacts, track crops. Pick a yellow onion at the workbench. Oh, is that a workbench right there? No, that's a wall. Where Using the ingredients you have, pick a yellow onion at the workbench. Uh... I don't see no work bent. I see lots of little yellow anvils. I see no workbench. Here's another one. There's a third field. Oh, yeah, I gotta actually go down here. Where is a workbench? Make all.
I have a yellow onion. What do they do? I uh, probably needed to make yellow dye. I bet you that's what their whole gig is, is just making yellow dye. But it's really stupid that the workbench is all the freaking way down here. Like, why don't they have one up near the top? Maybe they do and I just missed it. Because I feel like when I played this game three years ago, there was a workbench up here. But I can't remember for sure because three years ago when I played this, I took Forester. Because I was like, oh, I want to make my own bows. And then it wasn't until I was like level 40 that somebody was like, do you know that Scholar is how you get Hunter-specific items? And I was like, oh, I didn't know that. Thank you. What do you need? I smell an onion. Oh, yes. I have you. I asked you to grow one for me. Please allow me to see the onion. He takes a moment to admire your handiwork. You know, the handiwork that I craft in an onion. This appears to be the best of your crop. You are well on your way towards becoming a farmer. Well done, Hellrendir. Yay, I got a deed. Probably like something about historian, tier one, three of three. Hellrendir, student of the past. That is actually going to be my new active because I am actually a history major in real life. So that's going to be my title. Because I like that a lot more than being from Lorien, even though Lorien is a badass place to be from. All right. Um, I, yeah, I'm going to go sell this extra. I could have just sold it. I mean, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to sell it to him because uh, because I need to go this way anyway to do the Thom Galaire. Thom Galaire. Tom. I bet you, that you just, that's a hard T. Tom Galaire. My Elvish isn't very good. Megovanen. Sell. Okay. This is a trophy, so it can be sold. This is a much better bow than what I have equipped. Why in the world? Fa wait, fragile, basic. Okay, hold on. Basic short bow. Yeah, why do I not have that equipped? That does so much more damage. Okay, get rid of the tarnished blade. I want to keep that. That's a trophy. Yep. Tiny carcasses. Oh, no. Yeah, well, yeah, I want to repair. But sell, I want to filter. Yeah, there we go. That'll make this easier. Sell. I think the purple background is always a trophy. I believe. That's, yeah, garbage. Can furs be turned into leather, I think? Is that one of the ones? I mean, I can't turn them into leather, but... No, these are all just trophies. Okay, all. No, here it is. Light hides. I'm going to sell those on the auction house. Parent, probably yellow onions, too. Fried mushrooms, plus three agility for 20 minutes? Hell yeah, I'm going to fucking eat one of those right the hell now. Um, where is a dried mushroom? Dried mushroom, dried mushroom. Wait for it. Wait for it. Just, just wait for it. Um. Okay, so I got that agility bonus. Get rid of... I really... I never use these things. But I'm going to save them just in case. Don't want to get rid of those. Don't want to get rid of those. And I'm going to lock that for now. Okay. All right. Wait, I just heard it. Is it coming? Is it coming? Super early. There it is. Thanks for the follow, man. Thank you. Thank you. I was waiting for it. I didn't want to say anything too early because I got the update with the email. I can't attack the, the harbor rat. Why not? Oh, now I can. Oh, no, I was not prepared for this. Ah, okay. Let me close this. Deed bestowed. Strike enemies with blindside. Oh, I forgot about those deeds. Okay. Um. 
yeah, I gotta go this way. Yeah, it's gonna give me all of the deeds to use all my abilities. Shoot him! There we go. Shoot him, Cletus! He didn't want to shoot him. Can you... Okay, that's really annoying that my mouse decided to be right there. Alright. Let's go up this way. Am I going to aggro him, or does he not aggro? Oh, that's right. The thing determines how easy they are to aggro. Okay, I didn't take Forester, so I can't harvest those branches or that copper deposit. D.E.D. -E dead. All right. Now comes the most boring part of every MMORPG that ever existed. Killing things because somebody wants you to. This is the only this is the reason why Lotro is the only MMORPG I will play because Lotro is actually story based. It's about the game, not about just getting to the end, like getting to max level really fast and then being able to do all the fun stuff. No, Lotro actually has storyline to it. my fiance called me all right um how do i get up there am i even supposed to go up there i don't think i am and i want to turn on track artifacts because it ends up being a hell of a lot more valuable than track uh hey level up collections Check, so come check out the collections. Pressing Shift C will open up the collections UI, which shows you what mounts, cosmetic, pets, emotes, and stable master locations you ha either have or still need. Control C or Shift C. Shift C. You have up the cosmetic pet collection panel here. You can see all the cosmetic pets that you have available. Collections. Select a pet in the list to view information about it. Well, I don't have any of the pets, so that's fine. Mounts, don't have any of the mounts. Emote collection. How do you get the rest of these? I don't even know. Stable master. Oh, so this is to see, make sure you get all the stables. Oh, that's a nice little thing they've added. That's really cool. That wasn't in here when I used to play. Okay, it's too close up to him. I'm like staring at his butthole. There we go. This is really awkward though, because I'm staring through the grass. Okay. Ooh, wait, what is this? Oh, yes, I've totally forgot about that. That's going to go right there. Actually, no, I'm just going to put it right. It's going to be my asterisk marker. Um, place fingers thingamajig upon the stone table, which is up here. Defeat bale flies. There we go. Strawberries, though. Now that I know. There we go. Why? That was weird. That was a really weird 
thing that I just did. Oh, there's the stone table. Oh, it's gonna attack me. Annoying. Yeah, fuck off. Okay, so I put it on the table. Uh, defeat Veil Flies. So I have to go back down the way I came because I gotta go back to that entrance area and kill all the Veil Flies. If I could see, it would be wonderful. So let's do that. All right, let's go find some more Veil Flies. Bunch of blackberries. I can get these because I'm a farmer. At least, at least I think that's why I can get them. So let's see if I can remember how to do this. It's like Ash to yeah, you focus. Oh my god, that is wonderful. How often can I focus? Can I do that every time? Oh my goodness, that's just that's just OP. One shot everything. And now you did. Okay, I need to find one more veil fly. That's a rat. That's another rat. There we go. I was like, why can't I shoot this thing? Jesus Christ. All right, I need a I need one more veil fly. There we go. You want to take one for the team, little buddy? It is much appreciated. Okay. Let's go ahead on yonder way and go talk to the guy. Complete some of these quests. Oh, I got a couple things up here. Deed bestowed. Elf runes exploration. Okay, so I found Tham Galir. Yeah, I'm a completionist, so I won't leave until I complete every one of these deeds. I remember it was a pain in the dick whenever I played this before. But some of the deeds take forever to complete. Hello, there we go. Do, 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 do. Hail, friend, and well met. Your news gladdens my heart, Helrun dear, and I am eager to walk among the runes as I once did. With the sky over my head and the sun on my face, the cool shadows cast by the walls will no longer be a reminder of the shadow in the east, but of respite and restoration. I would like these. Greetings, friend. Will you lend me your ear? I would love to, but let me... Can I... Isn't there like an organize button? Yeah, there it is. I like that. Okay. My brother, Kalangil, is uh, Kalangil is staying at du Dualand, our refuge to the north. Like me, he also strives to restore the old places to their pristine state and may need your help. Follow the road to the high ground above Kalandim, then make your way north through a gap in the hills to search the refuge, to reach the refuge. Okay. Cool. Next guy. Might you spare a moment of your time? It is a privilege to aid with the construction of the white ships that bring the Eldar into the west. But I have wondered of late if there was any improvements, even, a sm of, even of small value, that might be made to the wood we use for that purpose. If you know a scholar of some skill, I would appreciate any minor woodworking lore you might be able to acquire. Thank you for the assistance. 
I have one or two small relics I can give you for your trouble. Collect minor woodworking lore. Well, that I can do right here. I think. Craft minor woodworking lore. That's what I thought it was. I just wanted to make sure that I wasn't crazy. These things are trash. Okay. Another deed was been bestowed. Ally of Air. Oh, Ally of Air the Wind. Yeah, I forgot about that one. Okay. I need to go visit a mailbox because I keep forgetting about that. T. Scholar. Woodworking lore. Why can't I craft it? Uh, collect minor woodworking lore. So do I have to go get the ingredients myself? Bring her some minor woodworking lore so she can apply the preparation to temperature. Okay, well... That is confuzzling, because I thought she was going to give me the ingredients. But if she doesn't, that's a different story. Um, I'll have to buy them, or find them. Which I hope I don't have to find them, because scholar shit is hard to find. Okay, what am I doing now? I need to go this way. Uh, uh, 21,000 health. Holy shit. I was like, oh, I wonder what level the guards are. Uh, yeah, never mind. I don't care. <laughs> Who am I speak to? Oh, I have to go to that guy. Alright, well, let me talk to this crafting, to this chick real quick. And then I'll go up that way if I have to. Hail, friend, and well met. I don't think I can buy those two ingredients here. I think those are the ingredients that I have to find. Yeah, they sure are. All right, well, here we go again. What do you need? Drop this stuff off with him real quick. No, 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 sell. Comment him below. Okay, I want to keep those, to keep those. Keep that. Okay. Is my, yeah. What is this? Okay, that's the marker for him. Okay. D did. <laughs> gotta keep going this way? But how do I get there? It gotta go south. I get it. 
I really need to actually I might I'm gonna go up to that place that I just came from because there's gotta be some relic or some artifacts that I can track displayed on the radar yep there's several well, several, but I only see one, so. Grab this bunch of blackberries real quick. I um, will be back momentarily. I have to go take my puppy for a walk. It only takes about two minutes. But when she got to go, she got to go. So this isn't something I can put off. Be right back. I'm actually going to go back to the logout screen simply because I want to get the deed for not dying pre-level 20. So I'm going to sit here for a second.
Okay. Sorry about that, guys. Yeah, I had to go out to the exit screen, or the login screen, because uh, there's a deed for getting to level 20 without dying, and I want that deed, so I have to log out. Okay. whole reason I'm here is for those artifacts, so I can complete this quest. him out real quick. That guy's actually a yellow. I didn't think I'd run into anything in this region that was even close to a yellow. Yeah, one shot. Okay. That's what I thought. Not in line of sight. Oh, I gotta turn on track artifacts again. Oh, what the hell? The artifact is this way? Where is it? There it is. Okay. Can I do that thing now? No, no, no. It's crafting lore. Woodworking. Okay, I need to get an early third age relic. I'm already tracking artifacts, so we'll see how that goes. Get over the thing. There we go. Alright. Now we're going to go over and do this mission over here and just continue looking for relics. quest I guess I just I really enjoy how every everything you do in this game is actually part of a greater storyline and there's no pointless quests because I really lost faith in, faith in MMORPGs when I played uh, World of Warcraft I was like holy shit just repeat after repeat after repeat after repeat of missions but go here kill this thing collect this off its body Escort this person, turn in thing, you know, yada, 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 go to next area. And then you're going to do the same five missions with different names. In this game, every single mission is part of the greater storyline. There are no just go here for shiggles and collect this shit. All right, let's go to Overless first. How can I be of service? Leonin had you fighting back the sickle flies? Good. It has become necessary to drive them out of the forest, lest they kill the trees. Your aid will be welcome here, Helrendir, for there is much to do. Oh. Oops. Gotta select a quest reward. Um. Oh, yeah, 100%. I'm gonna equip that right now. Arrange. Thank you. Um, and loot all. I don't have enough room. Lame. Oh. Oh, it's a unique item. Looking closely at this crude collar, you can see that it is not the handiwork of elves or dwarves. Perhaps Overless will be able to discern some measure of insight from the collar. You should deliver it to him at the elf camp on the northern edge of Nenhilith. Oh, cool. Well, that's actually really handy that I just got that. Um, what do you... What do you okay, I understand. Okay, so all of these I can't loot. That's fine. I was really confused. What is all this rumbling? I don't like this. You want, uh, if you like story, is all about lore and the journey. Yeah. So, 
Um, I am a Tolkien fanatic. Um, I've read every book he has ever written, and even the shitty ones that his children and grandchildren attempted to finish for him and did a poor job. Um, but I am a Tolkien fanatic. So I used to play Lotro religiously about three years ago, and um, life got busy, and I just stopped playing. And recently I started streaming, and my buddy of mine was like, well, why don't you play an MMORPG? And I think he was trying to get me to play WoW because he's a Warcraft fanatic, and I hate Warcraft. So I was like, if I'm going to play an MMORPG, I'm going back to Lotro. So I re-downloaded Lotro and loaded it up the other day and played through the tutorial and was like, holy shit, I forgot how much I love this game. So I decided to stream it and put it on YouTube like a story about my character instead of like an MMORPG and being like, hey, I did this quest, here's how you beat it. I'm going to tell it like a story. So this is the story of Helrendir, the elf from Lorien, and his adventure through Middle-earth. Enjoy your stay. But I'm, I'm in that mode where I'm like, I half remember how to do everything, but I'm super confused on other stuff. And also, back when I played this, it was owned by Turbine. Now it's Standing Stone Games. So there's a lot of stuff that's different. Um, so I'm, I'm trying to get the hang of everything that's different while simultaneously remember everything that hasn't changed. It's kind of funny, to be honest. All right. Collar. I know this handiwork. It is the handiwork of goblins. We must inform the others in Kellendim. If the goblins have grown this aggressive, then we must do what we can to drive them back from our homes. Oh, I want the health ones, for sure. Will not that I ever... Not that I ever use them. We cannot let another moment pass without informing others of the arrival of the goblins. Perhaps Lord Dorangor's uh, protection is weakening as we make our way to the shores to depart, or perhaps the enemies grow stronger faster than we expect. Regardless, Helrendir, we must send word back to Kellendim and my superior there. Quickly, return to Leonin the Glade Watcher at Kellendim and tell him of what you have found. You will find Leonin at the docks in Kellendim, northeast of this vale. Okay. Sure, dog. I got you. Trouble at Nenhilith. Mind my words, traveler. Your arrival heralds a time of hope. We have yet to discern what caused the wolves to empty into this valley. Perhaps with your assistance, we will soon learn the reasons behind the invasion. Yes! Oh, that's amazing! Warner Brothers fucked Tolkien's lore. Everything Warner Brothers did, they were like, yeah, you know that story called Lord of the Rings? We're going to steal its names and its places and do everything the way we want to do it. And trust me, uh, when I started this stream, I had a viewer that was asking me questions about my opinions of like Peter Jackson and Warner Brothers and what they did to the Lord of the Rings lore. And I, I think I bitched for a solid three hours on my stream of how bad Warner Brothers and Peter Jackson just destroyed the legacy of J.R.R. Tolkien. Anyway, I'm going to finish reading. The two other Glade Wardens here, Glav... Mm, Glavrolnen, Glavrolnen and uh, Helhathel, will explain the task that I have set before them. See to their request and earn their favor and you shall have mine. Accept. Alright, dwarf friend. What is that sound? They didn't used to do that when I used to play. Okay. Whatever. I am at your service. I like you, dwarf, already. A thal. Nay, I am still here waiting for Averthal. He requested I meet him here at the Vale of Nenhilith and has yet to arrive. I meant to enter the Vale myself, but the elves bade me not enter, and being that Averthal is not here to speak for me, I dare not risk angering them. I am sorry that I cannot help more to, to you or Lord Car Cardivor. Fun fact, them and Turbine are still in the same building. Their offices are right next to each other, on se separated by a wall. <laughs> oh, God, I would love to be a fly on the wall. Oh, that's, that's pretty awesome. That's awesome, dude. I wish I could be a fly on the wall for that. Ooh, level up! Fortuitous time. Okay, having a hard time running and chatting at the same time. I know about Numlock. Okay, I remember that. 
It is not like Averthal to be late, at least not without sending word, nor to put aside his usual habit. Still, he has m spent much time in contemplation in recent days. When Averthal desires solitude for quiet thought, he spends much time beneath the white trees in this vale. Perhaps he is amongst them now, un unbeknownst to anyone. Would you go there and find him? I would, of course, but I shall not defy the will of the elves. Make your way into the vale of Nenhileth and search for any signs of Averthal. I pray you find him hale and hearty, but if not, perhaps you will find some sign of him, even just his pack. Let me uh let me do something right quick. Just because I don't want to miss anything. Put that down. Put that down. Alright, there we go. Cool. All right, let's go over here and talk to these guys whose names I'm having a real hard time saying. Glav Rolnen. Sure, we'll go with that. Might you spare a moment of your time? Wood for wine. Our efforts here are to recover the land from this new threat. That is clear. We are also here at the behest of our kinsmen. In Kellendim, there is a vinter... Excuse me. Who wants only to make a final offering to store enough wine to survive our journey to the west. I have offered to recover enough wood to build such a cask. Cask. You will need to search the wood in this vale for wood that, ha that has not been spoiled by the sickle flies or the wolves. Return to me when you have spoil collected. When you have spoiled. When you have collected enough sturdy pieces of wood and I will grant you my favor. Stay a moment. Megovanen Hunter, I overheard your discussion with uh, uh, Overlass and hope that you are willing to assist us. This vale was once a place of inspiring beauty. Excuse me. Where we could come and commune with nature. It has fallen far from those days since the incursion of these wolves. It is clear where the wolves came. Uh, Apparently, I can't talk today. I'm sorry, guys. It is unclear where the wolves came from or why they chose to dwell in this valley, but it is clear that they must be removed to ensure that nature can return to its balance. Enter the valley and destroy the wolves to ensure the future of the valley. Return to me when you have completed this task and you will have earned my favor. One moment. <sighs> Sorry about that. I got a medical situation that makes me have to clear my nose all the time because I my body overproduces mucus. But anyway, but that's where the similar... Oh, wait, wait. That's where similar is at right now. They're deep into polishing the board expansion the latest news being the confirmation of chance to oh but i thought howard shore did the majority of the oh 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 in the game the rohan soundtrack in the game okay because howard shore did it for the movies i was real confused there for a second dude i was like I know, my, I know my Lord of the Rings. I'm, I'm like 99% sure that the majority of the co composition for the movies was Howard Shore. But, oh, well, I didn't even know that was a mission, but cool. Okay, let's kill this thing now. Shoot it in the face. Yeah, okay, that's what I thought. Yeah. Yeah. Pile of lumber. Let's just go collect that. See, when I stopped playing um, three years ago, it was right before the Rahavian expansion came out. So it may have been more than three years ago. It may have been a little bit less. I'm not quite sure. But it was right before the Rahavian expansion. So um, all of like the Rohan and the Rahavian and all of that, never played it, man. I'm about to, though. Are you calling me, babe? Thought my fiance was calling me to take the puppy out again. Um, but yeah, so um, and like three years ago, I was subscribed to this game. I was I was an avid player, but right now I'm not. Where is this? There is. Um, right now I'm not. But now that I'm playing it again, and I'm like super. Well, I'm remembering how much I love this game. In Rohan, I mean, it's a giant fucking field. So I would hope they put some stuff in there to explore. Um, oh, too far away. Um, but uh, 
I'm now that I'm remembering how much I love this game, I'm honestly probably going to subscribe to it for the next stream because I just I love I love everything Lord of the Rings and I love everything Lord of the Rings that Warner Brothers doesn't get to fuck up. And or Peter Jackson. Before and after two, so like Rahavian, Rohan, did they do an Isengard one? I feel like if they're working on Mordor, they would have had to have done Isengard by now. Or I guess the Eisen. And if they did do one, is it just the Eisen or is it Isengard? I'm sorry, is it just Isengard or is it the Eisen? Why are you freaking out? This is weird. Yeah, that was weird. I don't know what that was. There we go. That one worked. Ah, he blocked my barb shot. That's annoying. Twenty twelve. Well, then that one was already released once I was playing. I guess I just missed that memo. I blame Warner Brothers. That that's who I blame. They are always at fault, forever and ever, amen. You get to fight Saruman there, too, in a raid. Do you kill him? Because if you kill him, I'm going to be pissed. Because he doesn't die there. He dies in the Shire to a stab in the back from Grima Wormtongue. Spoiler alert. And no, Peter Jackson is not right. He fucked that up, too. Oh, that's why I keep having to do this. I'm sitting here like I know I've I've and I've clicked on more than five of these, but I w I wasn't reading that some of them don't actually give you anything. There we go. Okay, find Averthal's pack it's somewhere in this region. So let's just keep on trucking. God damn, he blocked both of my uh, penetrating shot. That was super frustrating. But as as far as as far as I can tell, everything that they've done for Lotro, none of it has been. Oh, there's a satchel. Uh, and that's is that a dead goblin? Yeah. Um, as far as I... After the came Riders of Rohan, then Helm's Deep, then Gondor, the Menace Tier, the latest updates are... Okay, and after the Mordor and Silver Long Guys, there's a new playable racing for new character models, among other things. That's so freaking awesome. I'm definitely resubscribing to this game. I will be here for quite a long time. I love this game. I don't know why I ever stopped playing. I mean, I do know why I stopped playing, but I just... Looking back on it, I'm like, why? Why did I not do... Why? Do, why? Why? Um, there's so much to do now. I need to subscribe. Okay, you, you can die. Um, okay. Okay. Is there anything to do over here? Okay, let's, uh, let's go in here. Loot all. Loot. Loot. Um, I 
I was saying something and I forgot what it was. Can I shoot from the water? Yeah! That's hilarious. That's pretty funny. As a bow hunter, I can tell you that is hard as shit. Oh god, I did not see this guy. Wait, what is this? Return home, return home. Get out of here. I don't even know why you're here. Okay. Have I not been... Where I forgot how to get to the skills. How do you do this? Gandalf? Ah, there it is. Hi, Gandalf. Only one? I thought I had way more than that. Okay. Yeah, I'm going red chain. Yeah. Although I probably will be around for a hell of a lot longer than one month. I'll tell you that right now. Ooh, open silver for free. What does that do? Eh. How long does it last? Eh, an hour and 30 minutes. Might as well just use it now. Okay, I need to just... Get rid of all of these because I already have one in my pack. Oh, I remember what I was saying. J is the default shortcut. Oh. Thank you, homie. Um, but uh, what I was saying was, as far as Lotro goes, I have never run across something that blatantly contradicts... Uh, I'm on Brandywine. That blatantly contradicts Tolkien's lore. And until I find that, I'm going to play this game. But once I find, like Shadow of Mordor, I loved that game. Until the end, when I found the two blatant violations and contradiction of Tolkien lore. And they're, they're not, they're so bad that they're inexcusable. Like, you cannot make a Lord of the Rings game and put the title Lord of the Rings on it if you violate Tolkien lore as bad as they did with that game. What can I do for you? Nature calls once again from the veil. I can feel it course through my being. We cannot rest on this virtue, but you have brought hope where there was sorrow, Helrendir. You have earned my favor. Megovanen. What can I do for you? Which, for the record, for anybody who's wondering, Megovanen is actually elvish for um, well met. Yes, this wood will certainly do. This should please the cop, uh, Cooper and the Vinter both. The white ships will certainly now be supplied with the finest wines from Arid Lewin. Might you spare a moment of your time? Now that you've collected the wood, I would ask one, one more favor from you, friend. The, uh, the Cooper in Kellendim, uh, Bregadur, needs the wood to craft his casks. I would ask that you seek him out at the highest levels of Kellendim on the tiers of the craft Crafters northeast of this location. Deliver the wood to him that he may build a proper cask. Okay. Love that game. One of my two all-time favorites. Cannot wait for Shadow of War. I'm really struggling with whether I'm going to play Shadow of War or not. Really struggling. I'm... Shadow of Mordor's violations of Tolkien lore might have ruined Shadow of uh, uh, War for me, and I haven't even played it. That's how much I love Tolkien lore. Oh, nice. I have characters that are capped at level 50 for the Kin Runes and the Rift, but still. Yeah, I played Brandy. I decided to play Brandywine because um, I googled what the, what the most populated servers were, and in North American servers, which I am in America, the North American servers most populated was Brandywine. So, you know, fun stuff. 
All right, troubles at Nenheleth. What do you need? You have done well here, Hellrendir. We will keep vigil here in Nenheleth. I think now you are needed elsewhere. We shall not soon forget all you have done for us here at Kelendim. Finish now. Ooh, choose one. I want that. But I have helmets turned off because they look so stupid. Actually, right now is Arkenstone. Oh, okay. Well, I just Googled it. I didn't really do any research into it, but either way. Oh, no, no, no. Arkenstone. Is that North American or is that because the most populated North American server, it said was Brandywine. And then the most populated European server, I think it said was Arkenstone. But, Ar but I can't remember exactly because I saw Brandywine and was like that and just moved on with life. Greetings, traveler. This is Averthal's pack, I am certain. I fear that something uh, untoward has befallen my friend. Please take this to Cardivor and tell tell him what... Uh, tell, uh, and tell him that I will do whatever I can to help find my friend, his son. Okay, Ark is United States. Brandywine after the Russian servers closed and it got invaded by Russian and Chinese players. I got no beef with Russian and Chinese players, so... I'm hoping none of us have beef with them. But anyway, this is Averthal. Oh, wait, I already read that. Continue quest. Okay. Back to Kellendim. Let's kill this thing. Why? Because uh, it is not gray yet. I'm going to continue killing everything until they are grayed out. Oh, yeah, and that's something I need to do. Options. I know this is a thing. It's like, I totally forgot to do this. Um, where do I go to turn on that quests still show even if um, I, I'm over leveled? Because I am a deed hunter in this game. So I do every quest. Audio, UI settings. That's not it. Combat, social chat, quick slots, mouth, key, mouth, troubleshoot. None of these look right. None of these. Does anyone know what I'm talking about or know where I'm supposed to go for that? It's not going to be there. It's not going to be there. I feel like it would be here. My character's name. Hey, how run dear student of the past? I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to leave that up because that's awesome. No, I'm not. Um, pet names, floating destiny. I don't even, I don't even know what that does. It's got to be somewhere in here. Show quest tracker. Automatically add deeds to the quest tracker. Automatically add tasks. I feel like I'm in the right area. Show quest guide on map. Enable. Show equipped items in repair UI. Show trivial quest icons in radar. There it is. Bada boom. Oh, show trivial quest. Thanks, dude. I decided to do it the hard way and just, you know, find it, because that happened. Da. Okay. Do, 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 do. How are you not dead? Oh, he blocked my shot. What a shit, Lord. Ah. Ah, so... Do I get retro-rewarded destiny points for leveling if I become a VIP later? Or is it only... You only start earning them once you are a VIP? Armless, armless octopus. I just actually took the time to read like your full name. That's an awesome name. Harmless, armless octopus. This way. No, don't. I want that deed. 
I will delete this character right now if I die because I'm going to get that deed for not dying pre-level 20. That would infuriate me to no end. Uh, okay. Who am I talking to here? I have to talk to a bunch of you, apparently. You? One of you? You? Ah, yes. Greetings, friend. It appears that you've learned much here? about being a historian and historian. That is a typo. That should be a historian. I am pleased. Now allow me to give you a little something for your efforts. Give me a moment and then speak with me again. Apprentice ingredients packs. Oh, wait a minute. Greetings to you. I feel like this is the way I get the ingredients to complete that other mission that I was bitching about like 30 minutes ago. I have been told you have performed admirably, and for that I wanted to see if uh, that you were well rewarded. Here, take this. It will allow you to craft any apprentice-level re recipe that you wish. Yep. That's how I get the ingredients. Where is it? Some inventory items have been transferred to your wallet and will no longer take up space in your character's inventory. You can access the wallet by clicking on the wallet button in your character panel. This is new. Okay. Character panel. Wallet. I have three universal ingredients packs. Cool. There's a button on the radar map in the top right corner. It says toggle wallet. Toggle wallet. Open that and then go to perks. Destiny points are shown at the top. Yeah, I have zero. I got zilch. Oh, these hats look so stupid. I'm so glad you can hide them. Okay, so let me back up here for a second and go here because there. I need two to make this. I only need to make one for the mission. Okay. All right. Next one is this guy, right? Her. Sweet-eyed maiden. More wood. Excellent. I have been kept busy enough to think I may soon need assistance. Uh, you have my thanks for this delivery, Hellren dear. This wood will serve nicely as a cask for fine elven wines. May Govanen. Hunter. Had a moment of your time. Sweet. Hunter, if you would take a moment, I have a request of, of you. A dear friend to me, uh, Breth Brethilwen, spends her days tending the grapes at Lamale's Vineyard to the north and west. She sent word to me not long ago that she required a cask for a special wine she wanted to present upon the white ships. I have crafted a cask for her, but need someone to take it to her since the preparations for our departure kept me very busy. Would you take the cask to her? You will find her to the northwest of Lamale's Vineyard. I, I can do that. I can fix that. And now we're going to run down the giant mountain. What crate did I get from the NPC? Oh, 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 yeah. No, I already did that quest. But there was another quest that popped up where she wanted me to make her a specific lore, a specific. And she was up there. She was up in this area up here. And she told me that she wanted me to craft her a specific one. And I had to actually go get the ingredients. Gray is the shadow upon my heart. This is Averthal's satchel. I am certain of it. Do you see this pattern on the side? Averthal stitched that himself long ago. You bring me fell tidings, Hellrun dear. You are sure that there were none, no other signs of Averthal. Some signs that by Sud oh, easy. might have been hiding nearby, safe from wolves or other dangers, but too far away to reclaim his satchel. Nay, this is a weak hope. I must not trust to it. Some foe has brought down my son, my Averthal. This is the only answer. I'm sorry, buddy. Life's a bitch. Will you lend me your ear? 
The goblins have slain my son, Helrendir, and for that we will sweep them from Arid Luin. No goblin will take as much as three steps into these lands before we are there to greet him with sword, blade, or arrowhead. Go forth and slay goblins wherever you find them, and cry aloud the name of Averthal. I would have the foul creatures know whose doom ha has come upon them. While you were gone, word came to me that Lamel's vineyard has been defiled by goblins led by a vile creature called Pamprosh. Seek out Pamprosh and his minions and lay them in the name slay them in the name of Averthal. Lamel's vineyard lies northwest of Kellendim. I just heard a cat. It's a cat! That's cool. Can I pet it? Nope. Okay. This guy, right here. Megovanen. This discovery is worrisome. I will see that the inf that this information is passed along to Lord Doringer of, of Duelon. We never would have learned of this if it not for you, Helrendir. We are in your debt. Okay. How may I be of service to you? Oh, you are not at all what I need to talk to, to be honest. Mailbox. I heard you were back in the area from, oh, from Dwalin. I heard you were back in the area and I have written a letter of commendation for you who offers. Uh, others you helped have pitched in what they could and placed it all in a nice gift box. Be sure to collect and read the letter from the gift box. Then seek out Landon and Kellendim or Bogey Deep uh, deep Delver outside Thorin's Halls. Lord Dwalin of the Longbeards. Wow. Wish I would have got that a little while ago. The letter reads, Be it known that I, Dwalin, Lord of the Longbeards of the Blue Mountains, uh, and steward of Thorin's Halls, write this on behalf of Helrendir. I fought alongside Helrendir to stop a dangerous and unearthly ritual from taking place, the resurrection of Skorgrim, king of the Dower Hands of old, by the by the gaunt lord Ivar the Blood Hand. Should it be within your power, please give Helrendir some measures of welcome and thanks for all that was done. Dwalin, Lord of the Longbeards of the Blue Mountains, steward of Thorin's Halls. Apparently, Dwalin remembers well the travels you and he had together. Seek out Leonin at Kellendim uh, to see what his, this letter will yield. What else did he give me? Potions. Elrendir, the crafting guilds of Middle-earth thank you for all you have done for the free peoples and would like to extend an invitation to speak with our representative, uh, Golfadinir? Golfadinir at the Crafter's Terrace in Kellendim. We acknowledge your ability as a combatant and invite you to try your hand at a less violent form of work, craftsmanship. You will find that Golfin Denier is an able teacher who can introduce you to pursuits ranging from cooking to scholar scholarly to smithy and everything in between. Sincerely, the Crafting Guilds of Middle Earth. How polite of you. And then I got some navy dye and another box. And another box? Oh, these are the level boxes. You get them for for you get them every now and then for leveling. I should have had like five. Yeah. I need to buy more bags. If you can target it, it you can do an emote. Oh, to the cat. Oh, that's cool. Um, I forgot where to buy more bags. Where do I get them? Um, well, you know what? Before I read the rest of these and open more of those, I'm going to go sell all this useless crap I have. We'll first off repair. Sell. Comment in below. Sell. 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 Wait, did I just sell... No, good. I'll keep these.
Oh, that's cool. I can get me a little mount. Probably not going to use it very much. I think going VIP gives you a few extra, not store, Lotro store. Uh, so I got to buy them. <sighs> okay. All right, let's sell those as well. Okay. Kitty. There is a kitty. Grab this mailbox real quick. Bingo Boffin. Hello there, and well met. I hope this missive is not intruding upon anything important, and if by unhappy chance it is, then I'm sure you will disregard it and take no offense. But it is my very sincerest hope that it does not intrude, and instead is met with some degree of interest and curiosity in the matter I propose. For you see, I have need of some help with a small matter, and... Well, I say small matter, but I do not know how long it might take. It could end up being quite a big matter, as these things go. But we will not know until it is quite underway, will we? If you are interested in learning more, I will ask that you please seek me out at my comfortable hobbit hole just north of the town hole in Michael Delving, being the principal town of the Shire. Yours in need of looking forward to your positive reply, Mr. Bingo Boffin of Michael Delving. Okay, well, I can't reply, and there's nothing on it. From Waldo Rumble. That sounds like a hobbit name as well. Concerning the party tree, to whom it may concern, your urgent assistance is required for a most important matter. It is an event of most peculiar and unprecedented, nor has it been seen or heard of in living memory in the Shire. You see, well, the point is that there are proper planning procedures in place, and festivals have run smoothly as a result of their obs uh, observance, as anyone can plainly see, and we know our holidays here about as well as we know our own names, and one cannot simply just go around making up one's own, not to mention the waste of otherwise Perfectly good paper, ribbon, ink, and other supplies, and who shall be called upon to clean it up after the whole affair is sorted out? I shall, no doubt. The key thing, the, the party planning committee is in an uproar, you see, and they seem to think I might know what to do about it, or they suspect unjustly I have some part in it. But I am at a loss and truly at my, at my wit's end, and very much in need of, it, of any assistance you could provide. Looking forward to your prompt reply, Mr. Waldo Rumble, Director of Labor. I'll take it. Sure. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's taking me to the party tree? Can I come back without having to walk or take a horse? Because that shit takes forever. All right, let me talk to him real quick because I just got the mission to come talk to him from that letter. Hail, friends, and well met. Your name is well known, Helrendir. It is not often that a hero of your stature visits me. I will honor you as Lord Dwalin honors you. Please accept these as a token of welcome in these lands. Speak with me again and look among my wares. You may find something there to your liking, and I will gladly barter for what you desire. What is a token of salutation? All right, um, yeah, I gotta take the woodworking thing up to her. Her, this is the one. What do you need? Thank you, Helrun, dear. This minor woodworking lore is just what I had in mind. I will spend some time in contemplation of it to see if there are any lessons I can draw from within its pages. Take these small items with my gratitude. Um, I need the handfuls of fertilizer. Because I am not a leather worker. Therefore, I don't need the light hides. But I am going to sell them because you can get a good bit of money for them. Oh, so the map will take you there and back. This year's is the game's 10th anniversary. There's been a lot of events, one of which is the scavenger hunts going for almost two months, end of April till July. Oh. Oh. Interesting. I am probably going to do that in my next stream then, because I don't want to jump out right now. I want to play until I get to the next area, which I know is actually here very shortly. Um, 
and then go from there. But feel free to drop a follow or a subscribe on YouTube if you would like to keep up with the story of Hellrundir the Elf. And you said they're making High Elves a playable class? What's that about? I mean, technically, the only difference between an Elf and a High Elf is where they're from. So that little opening bar there, where it says, like, where when you create your character and it says, this was iconic play and do stuff there, gradually unlocking the next years. Okay. Um, so that uh, create a character where it says where you can say you're from, that's how you decide if you're a High Elf. Like, all these motherfuckers who are like, oh, I'm an Elf from Imladris. Well, you're a fucking High Elf. I'm an elf from Merkwood. Oh, you're a wood elf. You must be Hellrendir. I have been awaiting your arrival, and I am very excited to see our letter found you. I am Golf... Oh, man, his name is tough. Golfedinir. Golfedinir. Yeah, Golfedinir. And I am pleased to make your acquaintance. I am here to help you through your very first stages of learning a craft. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me. Well, I should have done that before, because that's just weird now. Yep, Teleri, Noldor, and yeah, there you are. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Do I know, wait, where am I supposed to be going right now? Okay, I need to be going up there. So. Okay. So I am going the right way. Wolf Tamer. Nope, that's a stupid one. And I, okay. They're keeping it a surprise. What is certain is it? Well, I mean, yeah. You'd have to be a captain. Like, think about Battle of the First Age, man. Elrond was kicking fucking ass standing at the front of the army giving orders. Cool, their own starter zone? Well, it would it would make sense that their starter zone would be near Imladris, but given and I'm not sure if it's still like this, but I remember back when I played, Imladris was an area you had to purchase or subscribe to get access to. So that would be kind of weird because where else would they start him? It would have to be somewhere in Arid Lewin, perhaps. Yeah, 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 exactly. And that's also because um, that's also because uh, when you think of a captain, the first thing you think of is Aragorn the Ranger, which is actually kind of funny to say that Aragorn the Ranger was a captain. But yeah, that's that's what you think of. Well, speaking of which, Bjornings were weren't out whenever I last played. Where's their starting area? I I, I was wondering this uh, when I saw that they were a playable class now. Well, playable race. All right. Oh, I heard it. I heard it. There it is. Thanks for the follow. Link 1989. Very much appreciated. But yeah, when I when I think of like high elves being a playable playable race, I I don't think there's any way you could justify not giving them the ability to be a captain. Oh, hey, what's up, Link? Um, starting the veils of Anduin, really? 
But how does that work? Wait, I'm in. Well, I'm in the way wrong place. Veils of no, 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 no. Veils of Anduin. That's. Is that in that is that's up here, isn't it? Because this is where Bjorn, the Bjorn, like right here, is where they ran into him. Where's the Veils of Anduin? Huh. I'll have to make one. Ah. that experience I hope this is the way to where I'm supposed to be going yeah it is it actually really bothers me that I don't know where the Vales of Anduin is to be completely and totally honest Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. That's okay. So I'm not okay. Okay, I'm I'm a little bit less worried that my my lore wasn't off. There's Lothorn. It would be here between Mirkwood and the Great River, and Gladen Fields. How do they get away with that though? You would, well, in order to play a Bjorn. Oh, uh, in order to play a Bjorn, you have to purchase them. Because there are, so I'm assuming part of their purchase pack is Rojavian. Am I wrong or am I right? Or am I really wrong? Or am I really right? Yeah, you should totally play again, dude. Um, I, like I told, uh, I told Octopus earlier, um, I haven't played in three, like three plus years because life got busy and I am a Tolkien fanatic. So I, I don't remember why I stopped playing. Honestly, I think it was just that life got busy and I didn't have time. But now that I've picked it back up, I'm like, oh boy, I'm, I'm, this is my summer. This is what I'm going to be doing all summer. So thank you for the follow because I'm going to be here sitting in this chair playing this game a lot. Ah, level 10 without dying. Instance finder. Oh, I'm not doing instances yet. Hell no. Lotro points granted. Awesome. Deed complete. Reach level 10. Title awarded. Great. New skirmish. Helm's Dyke. Awesome. Cool. New deed. Strong draw. That's uh, probably the deed for penetrating shot. Premium class, so you get an extra character slot when purchased. Not sure if it still does. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Now it makes sense. Because I was trying to figure out where in the free-to-play portion of the game could they possibly justify starting the Bjorns. But now it makes a lot of sense. Oh, yeah. No, that's... Yeah, that's one of the main reasons why I play that I started playing this game and got so hooked versus getting so pissed off at Shadow of Mordor and wanting to punch Warner Brothers in the nuts. Um, I want this. I don't know why I want it, but I want it. Um, what server were you on? 2007 damn dude you had me by beat by like five years when i last played this shit the male's vineyard the vinta 
I only wish that this thoughtful gift from Brigadier could did not arrive during such dire times. With the situation at the vineyard, I fear that the cask may go empty for our journey. You may be of service to me. By this time of the year, most of the grapes have been picked and the wine already bottled. This was a very generous season, however, and many of the vines... Dale. Oh. It's late as fuck, and I should have went to bed a while ago, but I'm having such a good time playing this game and good conversation with y'all that I don't want to stop. Um, I would welcome your assistance. Winemaking is not easy work, but performing this task will certainly add to your appre appreciation of the wine you drink. Harder still when nasty goblins find their way into the fields, nasty goblins, uh, and drive you off. I think, though, you might be sturdy enough to aid me. If you would rather the... If you would, gather the grapes from the vines, still hale and hearty enough, and I will see that this cask is filled and the finest, with the finest this vale has to offer. The vineyard is below us and further to the west along the stone path. Be careful of the goblins. They are particularly nasty. Well, all goblins tend to be like that. A rare vintage. Melon, will you stay a moment? My friend, I wonder if I can ask you to undertake a task for me. It is bad enough that the goblins despoil the male's vineyard, but recently a party of the wretched creatures broke into an old wine cellar and broke a number of flasks of a rare and ancient vintage. No doubt the evil creatures have already drunk or destroyed most of the wine, but if you can recover any of the bottles from the goblins in this area, I would be deeply in your debt. You can find the goblins throughout the male's vineyard. I would not venture beyond the wrath, wrath to rig, however, as the goblins there are rather more dangerous. Ah, uh, Morthond. Oh, look at that, dude. You can get your characters back. Holla! Yeah, see? Now, see, now you don't have a choice. Now you gotta start playing again. Come on, now. Jump in Brandywine. Uh, where I'm at, throw a friend request. do lay do da Oh, you look like you need to die. Aha! Okay. That actually took a little bit longer than I thought it would, to be completely honest. New deed. Focused and ready. Defeated Blue Craig, Craig Sentinels. Oh, that's lame. Collect wine flasks. Defeat Pampersh. Okay. Okay. Got 
for the wine flasks. Oh, he's not my line of sight. Okay. <laughs> nice. Just like, man, I really miss this game. Yeah, I'm going to install that now. See, I was. I wasn't going to come all the way in here. But then I saw the thing right there. That there is something for scholars in here. Now I'm going to go get that. Because I want it in my life. Come on now. What the hell? There we go. Age of scraps of age text. All right. Oh wait, there's another one. <gasps> no, never mind. That was the same one. I was about to get really excited. Well, actually, I did kind of get really excited. Oh, yeah, this is a really good location to get that done. Okay, yeah. I'll probably be coming by here. What I usually do is I get to the end of the area, and I basically com I let the game... I get as many of the deeds complete, complete as I possibly can. Let me just restart that whole fucking sentence. I complete as many of the deeds as simple playthrough of the game will complete. And then I go back and do all the grinding stuff afterwards if there's any that need to be completed left. Yes. I think. Oh, 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 I unlocked new shit. Swift bow. Okay, I need to figure out how that'll fit into the scheme. What is this one? Oh, I love that. I love that. But I'm going to put that over here. Actually, I'm going to put this right here. Um, okay. This would go here. And I'm going to put that there. But I don't know. Well, let's test this theory out. Let's see what this does. Oh, shit. Okay, that's awesome. Did not think it was going to do that much damage. Huh. Okay. Yep. That's going to stay on number three. Yeah. And being the completionist that I am, I usually don't ever run by something without killing it. Like, it's just against my nature. So I always end up being really over-leveled and all that. And uh, I don't know if there's, like, a new thing to do or whatever. But back whenever I played, you there was the school and the uh, library. And that's where you did all your gear grinding. Dude, I probably ran through that motherfucker, like, 200 times each. Really? Really? The blue line hunter was trash back when I played. Hmm, that is interesting. Hmm. I have two specs. Oops. Oh, yeah, I do. I mean, that's what I was looking at. A mid-ranged mobile harasser who deals sustained damage while they while they're blah, 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 while free to move. They uh, unload rapid volleys, dealing quick damage quickly. Skills earned. Scourging blow. A melee attack dealing additional damage. The enemy suffers from barbed arrow. A quick attack that deals more damage each time it is used. Reduction based attacks can be used while moving. No focus loss on movement. No mischance penalty for movement. Let's try it. 
Why the fuck not? Um, that's a tough one. I'll take the damage, actually. Apply. Yes. Okay. So now, okay, so, and this is, this is right. If I do this, yeah, it goes back to my old setup. I remember that. Okay. So what, what do I have now? Okay, so I have U3, penetrating shot, blindside, barrage. Thirty meter range. So that's ranged. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna have to do so I can keep all of my ducks in a row without looking like a dirt -er. Yeah, that's what we're gonna have to do. So I'm gonna have to go back here and make sure that it's the same so I'm not doing stupid stuff. Yeah, there we go. Okay. One, two shotting almost everything. They did a revamp of the Hunter and Burglar class, increasing their damage output by exceeding the amount to keep them close to the DPS classes. Good, because I remember it being... Oh, I forgot about these, but I don't get these because I'm not a VIP. Um, I forgot. I, I remember it being rather difficult. May Gavanen. Sell. Um, no, don't sell that. To keep up with the damage out, because like back whenever I played, the minstrel was just a fucking animal. They would look at things and they would just like shit themselves and explode. Uh, I really don't need these. I'll keep them just in case. Ooh. I don't have enough room for that. That's super depressing. I just need to start selling Greetings shit to you. that I'm not going to use. Like, okay, hold on. I'm going to keep that... Uh, these can go away. Let's see, all of these are good. Apprentice Jeweler Scroll Case. Wait a minute. put this ring which one is it wait, 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 wait. I want to get rid of the old ring the silver one okay and then do I have anything else in here that I can equip that's better I mean we're about to figure that out but oh it's right here um, no, because I can sell all this stuff. I just need to remember where the bank is. I'm not going to use these, like, ever. Because I don't need them at this low of a level. Uh. The Warden class would be fun. The rest are locked as a... F oh, the rest are locked as a free-to-play. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I've always wanted to play a Warden, but their particular play style... Okay, hold on. Help me out, guys. I forgot. Am I allowed to open these? Or... In order to sell them, I have to leave them shut. I can't remember. Help a brother out. Um, and also, remind me where the bank is. 
Yeah, I remember the warden. That's that's the whole reason I didn't play it is because basically everyone was like, dude, it's tough as shit. Ooh. Yes, I want to equip that. Why would you ask such a stupid question? Um, but yeah, anyway, where is the bank? Hey, friend, and where is it. the... Um, well, everything else? Because I can't remember for the life of me where, like, my the vault, the bank, whatever it's called, where I can put items that I don't want in my pack, but I want to get rid of. Both the scroll and the recipe inside can be sold. So I can sell the scrolls and upcharge them or put a standard charge on them with the hopes that they get something they want out of it. That's kind of fucked up, though. I'll put those into the vault and deal with it later. I just can't remember where the vault is. Okay, rare vintage. Hail, friend, and well met. Ah, very good. You have done all that I could ask. Thank you for your efforts. Those wicked creatures will better will learn better than to raid my uh, wine cellars in the future. I want these. And I can equip those. Yes, because they are much better. Great very good, Helrin, dear. Years from now, your efforts day will bring great joy to many. Hard work. Uh, sorry, I was reading other stuff. Hard work. Bring satisfaction, not just in winemaking, but in all things. I want those work gloves. Three light mail on. I'll Will you there. stay a moment? Ah, uh, all filled and ready for delivery. I would like to thank you for your assistance, Halrandir, as I would not have been able to see this last bit of harvest along without you. The cask is meant for another. However, I should like to see it sent along to my friend, Bregadur. It was he who sent it to me after all. Why should he not have the finest wine of the valley? If you would, take this back to him at Kellendim. Follow the path to the east and turn, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, you'll find him in the crafter's market. Okay. So, I still gotta kill this Pomprush guy. Okay. I wanna... I wanna, I wanna... Okay, so let's see. I can't do barrage. Why? Requires focus, more than likely. Yeah, it does require focus. So let's charge the focus up. And just hit him with like... Oh! That did 380 damage. Bro, that's stupid. That's fucking stupid. Like... You may have just convinced me. Okay, let me take care of that for you, dog. Of course he fucking evaded it. Oh, and I don't have to stop moving now. <gasps> that's epic. Okay, but I'm gonna have to remember. Those are how. I'm gonna have to remember how to run side to side now. That's gonna get really, really... That not irritating, but it's going to be a challenge. Yeah, punch him in the face. Thank you. I was like, why is this thing not dead yet? 297 damage. Holy piss. That is broken. How much does penetrating shot do? Okay, 330. So I now have essentially two penetrating shots, and one gets more powerful the more times I use it in a row. That is stupid. Okay. I've got my focus. Let's do this. That one did 288. That one did 379. That did 391 and on a block. Oh, yeah, I'm doing this. Okay, can we not do this, guys? Thank you. Oh. 
Why did this turn off? Oh, I'm glad I turned that back on. Does this respawn? I want that. That is just the... Oh my god, this is awesome. It's like I don't actually have to stand still anymore. I can just walk backwards. Like, go fuck yourself, dog. You're literally never gonna... Oh, that's so awesome. I'm so happy that you told me that the blue line got buffed. Because this is just fun. Like, a lot of fun. Oh, he blocked it, that sack of shit. Where is this boss? Isn't he supposed to be like right here? Come on now. That's stupid. I'm assuming this means somebody else killed him and he hasn't spawned yet. There he is. One shot. That's not not okay man that is not okay by any stretch of the imagination just oh look a boss oh look a dead boss oh yeah we're staying blue line this is fun Oh yeah, I don't have to stop moving anymore. That's so nice. <laughs> oh my god. This is great. Yeah, but that, like that's what I'm saying. Like that boss would have taken me like pin him in place, hit him with a penetrating shot, hit him with that quick shot and then a swift shot and he probably would have died. Or you can just go blue line and shoot him with one barrage. Like that's awesome. Oh, I don't need to talk to you. I need to talk to someone else. Both are back in Kellendim. Oh, my home will take me to Kellendim, right? I can just click that. Kellendim. Hell yeah. I just got the update for my Facebook page, which, by the way, you can go like if you uh, would like to suggest other games for me to play. I typically do uh, playthroughs of retro games, but now that I found this, I'm going to be doing both. Um, but yeah, if you want to go like my Facebook page, you can make suggestions and whatnot on what I'm going to play. Because I'm currently doing a playthrough of Diablo 2, uh, Warcraft 3, Reign of Chaos, um, and I downloaded Path of Exile because a friend told me to, and it was really 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 good um but it was one of those games that i was like i can't be playing more than just this game when i'm playing it i need to do a walkthrough of this game by itself so i put it down and went to other games what is this pamprush said that my son still lives Averthal was not slain my heart wants to believe oh wait what did he say
He says, if you're looking for the elf prince, you're too late. The dwarves have him now. Okay, cool. What is this? Pamprish said that my son still lives. Averthal was not slain. My heart wants to believe, but believe but believe the words of a goblin? Still, I cannot fathom why he would tell this if it were not so. But if Averthal is alive, then his capture does not bode well. I fear he will not live long while imprisoned by those outcast dwarves. There are no better they are no better than the goblins. Fate might. Ugh, that's lame. I'm gonna take fate because it's critical chance. Oh my goodness. I, uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to go VIP because this is getting kind of ridiculous. I'm going to be of service to oh, you. wrong guy. Three light Melon. Hail, friend, and well met. What is this guy? Trainer, trainer, trainer. All right, let me talk to him real the quick. Sorrows of the Eldar. I want Are fate. You you stay in and Got level you 11. Me. You have done so much for me already, Hellrendir, but there is still... Once you get your ports. Ports? Like boats? You can travel by boat now? What? Teleports. Oh, teleports. Oh, that's right, because I'm a hunter. Uh, yeah, yeah, got it. Okay. You have done so much for me already, Hellrendir, but there is still much that must be done if my son is to be my son is to be restored. We have not had dealings with the dwarves for a very long time, and those and those are not pleasant memories. Oh. You were at Adhelion, I believe. You remember Scorgrim's final attack on the old refuge? Yes, dwarves are scheming and self-serving. Not to be trusted. We must gather our strength to lay siege to the dwarves of Ered Luin and rescue Averthal from their clutches. But only Doringer Whitethorn, the master of Duland, has the authority to muster such a force. Bring him the news of my son that he is still alive, but a prisoner. We must strike at the dwarves before it is too late. Speak with Tehran at the stable before you go. He will hasten you upon your journey. Bring the wine cast to Bregador. Okay, is the uh, is the vault? Oh yeah, trait point. Shit, where is that? Okay, deed complete. Goblin Slayer. Well, that was easy. Title awarded. Guardian of Eric Luin. Deed bestowed. Advanced Goblin Slayer. Low trope points gained. Yay! Get more slate trot. Yeah, or trait slots. Yay! Okay. Um, where are the trait slots? Traits. That's this? No, that's not that. That's... Yeah, it is this. It's... Here we go. Um... Ah, oh, damn it. So, all of them have to be purchased. Sad face. Okay. Well, you do get to use boats to travel further in the game. Evan Dim or to go to Mirkwood, for example. Oh, okay. Well, that's handy. I did not know that was a thing. Right-click the unlock virtue to slot it. Oh. Well, it's virtue. Charity. Oh, cool. Nifty. Nothing here. Do, 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 do. Those three coins, that's the thing, right? Vault Keeper, yeah, that's right. That's the guy that I need to go to. Regador, thank you, Hel thank you, Hellrendir, and my and thank my friend Brethel. Uh, Brathilwen went for knowing my intentions. I understand that Brathilwen was beset by goblins and that you fought off many off to obtain this spirit. Know that it was for a worthy cause. Sweet Melan. Before you leave, Hellrendir, I have one more boon to ask of you. I promised a bottle of last year's vintage to a friend at Dualan to the north, and my labors kept me too busy to fulfill that pledge. I hope that this has not inconvenienced her. Could you deliver this bottle to Dolingil for me? The the refuge lies on the road that follows the river north. 
below uh, Lemail's vineyard. If you reach the dwarf port of Keladul, you have traveled too far north. Perhaps you should make use of the horse he from here to Dualon. Okay. I'm going to go talk to the vault keeper. I'm going to apply my point. Oh, yeah, 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 point. You're right, you're right, you're right. Forgot about that. How do I get up? Oh, it's up there. Got it. Okay. Open my Ooh. vault. Let me see. Okay. Um... All of these can go in here for now because I will use them. Run speed, out of combat regen, max power, 5% attack damage, defense, item wear reduction. Um, eh, yeah, I don't need, I'm not going to use these dies so they can go away for now. Writ of special passage, all known travel routes, regardless of the restrictions are available and free. This effect continues to expire in game time, uh, for one hour. Yeah, I'm probably not going to use that. Slayer DD. Oh, I'm going to save that. Enhanced XP supply. Ooh. You get one on every odd level in addition to doing your class deeds and other ways. Okay. I can go in there for now. This can go in there for now. I just want to get rid of all the shit I'm not going to use. Down to Hellrun Deer. Oh. Well, that's a waste. I surpassed the maximum level. I didn't even realize that was a thing. Um, and then... Okay, I guess I'll keep these on me for the time being, seeing as how I really don't need them. But why not? And then all of this stuff can go in here until I either use it or put or I'm gonna put it on the auction house. Is there a faster way to do this? All these green ones, they're all crafting relevant, correct? Um, don't need that. I won't need that just yet. This I can just get rid of, right? I can't sell it because it doesn't have a value. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just going to get rid of that because I can't use it anymore. And yeah, I'll put these over here just for now. There, 30 out of 30. 
Oh boy. Jesus Christ. Nope. Yep. I didn't think so. Okay. <sighs> yeah, I know I can add more space. But how is it is, the first one's pretty cheap, right? What can I do for you? Yeah, 45 silver. Yeah, and then it just like goes exponentially up. So I can actually put all the rest of these in here that I really know I'm not going to use anytime soon. Um, yeah, those can go in here too, just because I know I'm not going to use those either for quite some time. Uh, gotcha. Okay. What do you need? You can have those. You can have that. 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 Okay. What the hell is that noise? Is somebody doing something? Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, all right, so all the rest of my missions or quests, whatever they're called. Uh, what 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 one is it? Character traits, character quest. Uh, Dualand, Dualand. Duolond. Okay, so all of my quests take me to Duolon. So I've completed all this area, and I have to head on up to Duolon. So I'm going to log out in front of the horsey. Oh, wait a minute. Really? Another quest? Will you hear my sorrows? Long have my brother and I dwelt upon these shores, and much have we seen in that time. Now the time has come for us to leave this place and sail into the west. My brother, however, does not see clearly and wishes to remain here. We have always dwelt together, and I could not consider a day in my life without his company and counsel. He is the cord which binds me to Middle-earth. While he is of a mind to remain, I am forced to wait for him. If you would go to Duolon and see if you can convince Bregard to join me, me here at Kellendim, it is time we began our journey. The refuge is north along the road. Okay, so that takes me there, too. Alright, so... I'm gonna log out. And... I played a lot longer than I should have, because I have a wedding to go to tomorrow, and the AC guy's coming at, like, 8 o'clock in the morning, and it is fucking 4. So, yeah. I'm gonna be dragon ass tomorrow. But, it's been fun. Love the conversation with you guys. Um, feel free to, uh, if you haven't already, follow me on Twitch. And you can get the updates of when I will be playing through the story of Hal Rondir. Um, and you can follow him through Arid Luin and into the West shortly here coming. Um, and if you miss something and you want to go back and watch it, everything I do gets uploaded to YouTube. So you can follow me on YouTube under the same exact name, Private Chunky One. Um, and if you want to make a game request... Um, or just make fun of me in general. I have a Facebook page that you can like and throw some game requests up on there. I'm currently doing a playthrough of Warcraft 3 Reign of Chaos, Diablo 2 Lord of Destruction, and now I'm also playing Lord of the Rings Online. I occasionally throw in some League of Legends, uh, PUBG, and, um, damn it, the, the Blizzard MOBA, uh, Heroes of the Storm, hot. Um, but that's those ones are like... If I'm with friends and we're just bullshitting. But the ones that I'm actually going to play throughs for are Diablo, Warcraft, and now Lotro. So 
feel free to make a suggestion if you have another game that you would like me to play. Um, but in the meantime, I'm tired of shit. So I'm going to go get some shut eye. My eyes just went blurry. That was weird. But yeah. So anyway, it's been fun. Probably